Hey everyone, look what I just drug out of the trees. Grandpa's old flare box. Great grandpa actually, just passed away a few couple years ago. I suppose now he would be very disheartened about what I'm about to do to his flare box, but uh, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, we're gonna make a tile boot trailer. So basically, I'll show you what we're gonna be putting on there. And it ain't gonna be a big high speed unit, more so to store them things and to move them from field to field instead of messing around with putting them on a trailer and taking them back off. They're just gonna kind of permanently sit on there for storage and ease of moving them around from field to field. Basically, it's this thing. So you have to have a different sized tile boot for different size tile. This is the eight inch tile boot for eight inch tile. And we also have a six inch boot and a four inch boot. That is what I am going to be building because we just have these things leaning around on stuff. And I, they're kind of tippy if you don't get them set just right. And I don't want it tipping over on anyone or sitting in the dirt anymore. So I'm going to torch the sides out of this and build a, build a tile boot trailer. So I'm also gonna time myself see how long this takes but enjoy the show so it is a absolute beautiful day here west central minnesota today it is forecasted for some 28 degree weather towards the end of this week it's wednesday currently and i think uh, friday and maybe even sunday they're talking 28 degrees and we got corn and soybeans also coming out of the ground so somewhat concerned about all of that nothing we can do about it but replant it if it dies i guess the corn Corn should grow back, but soybeans, we could be in jeopardy. So we'll see, we will see how that goes. I'll keep you updated. Little update on what everyone else is working on. Randy's working on getting our uh, tanker trailer switched over for uh, post-emergent spraying, cleaning out the chemicals that we were putting on, putting on chemicals for post. And Eric is washing the floater because we like to get on that right away after we use it because the fertilizer is literally so corrosive it will just eat that machine apart so we try to wash all the fertilizer equipment very shortly after we're done using it so that's what those two are working on dad's transferring some beans around down by the ben site or something and i'm working on this because it's too wet to be out tiling and we're just kind of filling the day <laughs> it all marked out I'm gonna put the four inch boot here the eight inch boot there in the future if we ever buy a ten inch boot probably will go here and I'm putting a six inch boot right there let's get to it let there be light So now I got this side torched out. You can see it's pretty weak. Sorry grandpa that I wrecked your uh, 100 year old wagon. So now what my plan is, is I'm gonna torch out this angled part on that side so the heel of the boot sticks out past right here. Even with there is my plan. That's what I got marked out right here. I'm gonna just whoop, notch that out quick there, here, and there.
sense now. It's turning out pretty good actually, I think. Hopefully this is rusted out really bad here, so I might have to weld back in a support. As you can see here, I'm leaving the, the angle iron, which is support for the bottom, but it's rusted out right there. As you can see, it was particles and pretty rotten. So I don't know. You can see the floor is all weak there. I might go on the inside and weld another angle iron on there through that area, maybe quite long to try to support that better. That's just a thought right now. I'm also going to get flat iron and I'm gonna shoot straight across, weld it on each end for so that it don't tip over, along with support for the sides. So, let's get after it. So there we go, we got that all done. What I'm thinking I'm gonna do next is get a boot in here and dry fit it and I might have to torch a hole for, uh, well you'll understand when you see it, but we'll torch a hole so we can drop a pin in so it can't slide out. You'll see that when we get one up here. But that is the next mission. We have got it so that we can just slide our boots right in there. Boom, boom, boom. It's gonna be awesome. Ah, I've been looking everywhere for you. You're just hanging out here with all the chemicals from Ag Chem Solutions. I knew, I knew you'd be over here hanging out with them cool guys. we call the black thing because nobody really knows what to call it we built it to move equipment around the yard and odds and ends stuff for the forklift works pretty good we got holes in the forks so when you slide it on you drop them pins on you got a fifth wheel trailer ball just a hook to hook on to anything with a round hole like rippers diggers stuff like that you got the tongue style you've got the flat style pretty much anything you want here you got and now it's set outside corn leaves blew around the shed here and drifted it full so that's great that's great I got you. I got you. Looks like Eric got done washing the floater and the other fertilizer truck. Looks nice. Good job. It's a big sweep. It's hard doing this by yourself. Everyone else is busy though. And progress cannot be stopped. Makes life so easy. Quiet. Listen how quiet that is. 
Okay, the chain just fell off. That was concerning. But it's working great. I'm happy. I'm very satisfied with this. And it's not ex at all like I was explaining to you. I was hoping that I was going to be able to drop a pin through here and through this pin hole here and it would hold it in. But on further evaluation, the angle of the boot is not a true 90, it would appear. Needless to say, it's going to work. And I'll just have to come up with a new way of holding it from sliding out. But I'm really satisfied so far. this to hold it in basically flip that out get the excavator lift it out of there to hold it in all this is is to hold it from sliding out of this slot right here and I got it on this one also this one I cannot place yet until I get the 8 inch boot off so that'll have to be a in in season job fix thing so this thing's done probably should paint some on it but I don't really feel like it. This was supposed to be a last winter project and I should grind all this down, but I don't have the time nor the patience right now to do that. So it's gonna be a next winter project, which will be a never project. So this job's completed. Super excited about this. Actually, I'm gonna hit this with some spray paint quick, just the new pieces, cause I don't want them to rust. So that's gonna be done here shortly. I'm getting this thing out and it actually will be getting put to use probably this week, which I am excited to see it hauling stuff around. Grandpa would probably be proud. Hasn't been used for, I don't know, 30 years maybe, 25 years. Now I'm repurposed it, so it's got a life again. Grandpa would probably be really happy to see me using his old wagon. Granted, I did destroy it, but at least it's got a new life now. If you like this video today, guys, please leave a comment. Don't forget to subscribe, give us a thumbs up. If you would like to give us a thumbs down, please hit it twice. Clever, huh? Was that clever? See you later.